What's the crack? Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs, and in today's episode I'm going to be doing a pros and cons of living in Ireland. So this is going to be five pros and five cons of living in Ireland, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it, I'm just going to tell it like it is, tell you the good sides and the bad sides. So yeah, let's just jump into it. I'm gonna go from five to one. My number five con, the fifth worst thing about living in Ireland is the weather. So if you've lived in Ireland for more than a week, you'll understand what I'm talking about. The weather here is not in short of schizophrenic. I mean, we can literally have four seasons in one day. One second it can be sunny, the next second it can be raining, and then it could be followed by a snowstorm. I mean, you leave your house, you don't know if you need to wear a rain jacket or a pair of shorts maybe both just in case and that's kind of how it is here when you step outside it's it's a lottery <laughs> whatever you get you're not 100 percent sure you know for us for people living here in ireland we just get on with it it's part of our daily life here but for tourists coming here they must think it's absolutely mental because like <laughs> you won't see weather like this anywhere else in the world and that's been genuine so yeah the weather it can be a bit of a pain in the arse but I mean we just get on with it and it's part of our life so and I think the weather kind of adds to the character of Ireland well at least that's what we tell ourselves so it doesn't piss us off every day number five pro number five the fifth best thing about living in Ireland the natural beauty we have it in bucket loads from the cliffs of Moher to the Giants Causeway down to Kerry the, actually the entirety of Kerry because it's absolutely beautiful We've, we've endless coastlines, we have rugged natural beauty, and we just have it, you know, it's just it's just here. People come from all over the world to see Ireland, to just gaze at what we have here. And I think that's amazing, and there are lots of other beautiful places in the world, but there are things that you see in Ireland that you won't see anywhere else. With beautiful beaches, endless coasts, well it does end, but you can just go back around the other way if you want. We've tons and tons of stuff here for people to see, natural beauty. I think it's one of the best assets that Ireland actually has. So we should we should try to utilize it more. And we have a lot to offer in that sense. So if you want to see some natural beauty, come to Ireland, trust me, you'll be blown away. Okay, con number four. The fourth worst thing about living in Ireland, the public transport, honestly. So if you live in any city in Ireland, you probably won't understand what I'm talking about. But if you live in rural Ireland like I do, then you'll definitely understand where I'm coming from. I mean, the town I'm in, Kilrush, has three buses that leave it every day. Three buses in, three buses out. And this isn't a dig at Kilrush, this is the same for a lot of a lot of towns around Ireland. And if you miss those buses, then you're screwed. You either have to get a lift from someone or stick your thumb out and hitchhike. And that's kind of how it is. So if you're coming to Ireland and you're going to visit like the West Coast or rural Ireland, please be aware that the public transport here is terrible. It really, really is. So that's something you need to be aware of. In around the cities, it's fine. Like, you can get public transport anywhere in around the cities, you can get taxis, buses, whatever. But if you're in the west, in like rural little towns, you're gonna find it very difficult to get public transport. It can be very, very annoying. It can be a pain in the hole sometimes because if you don't drive, you're kind of stuck. And it's only now I'm realizing how important the car in Ireland actually is. So yeah, if you're moving to Ireland and you're gonna be living in a small town, get yourself a car. Now, I think there is kind of a sense sometimes that part of the country is forgotten about by the government that like you know ah they're fine they have a few buses they'll be grand the thing is a lot of people come to Ireland and they just see Dublin and that's where a lot of the money has been spent and that's fair enough I get that but there are so many other parts of the country that need the money that need the assistance that need the transport so that people can actually you know do things with their lives and have the opportunities that people in the cities have because you know it's, it's just kind of ridiculous it really is so pro number four the fourth best thing about living in Ireland we're great crack we, we really are. Like, it's known worldwide that the Irish are very friendly, we're very welcoming, and we're just known as a nice bunch of people. And I don't know where that came from or why we were given the title of the friendly people, but I think it's brilliant. An Irish person can walk into a bar almost worldwide, let people know that they're Irish, and everyone will be like, oh my god, it's an Irish person. It's crazy, like, that we have this kind of magic social power. People kind of hear we're Irish and they just expect us to be friendly, they expect us to be up for the laugh, having the crack. And I think that's brilliant. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a foot in the door. It's really interesting to me that the Irish are known for their hospitality and for their warm welcomes. And we've had a tough time here in Ireland historically. You know, we've had a lot of famine, a lot of oppression, a lot of war, but we're still nice. We we just get on with it. And of course, there's always going to be a few bad apples in every bunch. But 99.9% .9 of the time, if you come to Ireland, you're going to be greeted with a warm welcome and probably the offer of a couple of pints. <laughs> You've nothing to worry about. Visit Ireland. We're a great crack. 
So number three, the third worst thing about living in Ireland is trying to find work. Again, like public transport, if you live in the big cities, you're going to find work fairly easily. There's a lot of jobs in the cities. There's a lot of bar work, there's a lot of food work and things like that, IT, technology. The cities are, are where it's at really in Ireland. But if you live in rural Ireland, like I do, you'll find it very difficult to find the job. And there are jobs in like nursing and healthcare and things like that, but that's not what I do. That's not what I'm passionate about. And I think they're extremely important jobs, very, very difficult jobs. And for the people that are doing it i admire them i really really do because i know myself i wouldn't have the mental capacity to do a job that was taking care of elderly people or working in healthcare because that's emotionally like just not <laughs> not for me you know so fair play to the people that actually do those jobs but for the people like creatives like myself or for people that want to do other things the opportunities here are very very little like Kilrush the town I'm living in is one of the 79 unemployment black spots in Ireland basically back in 2007 Kilrush had an unemployment rate of about 30% which is fairly high like 30% of people unemployed in the town that's one in almost three people and what I'm starting to see a lot is people go to college they'll get their degree doing something that they really want to do they'll come out of college and then they'll realize that the industry isn't here here in Ireland or it isn't where they want to live and a lot of the times because they have family in one location and they want to stay there I've seen people who have had to change their entire career and go back and study just so that they can get a job doing something locally and this could be a job that they were never passionate about a job that they never really wanted but it's just a job that they have just so that they can survive and sustain themselves and get off social welfare and that shouldn't be the case it shouldn't be like that the government really needs to step in and show that other counties have things to offer that there are people looking for work everywhere it's not just in the big cities i think that's really one of the worst things about ireland is that the cities are booming and the small towns are crumbling and it shouldn't be like that it really shouldn't so yeah trying to find work in small town ireland can be very difficult pro number three about living in ireland you'll never be short of a drink like ever the amount of pubs we have here is unbelievable. We have some of the nicest and coziest pubs in the world. We have pubs that are full of character and characters. If you're a tourist and you walk into a, into a pub in Ireland, you'll probably get a bit of a weird look for a second, but it'll usually be followed by a, how are you? Or else a, an old head salute, and then they'll turn back and start drinking their pint again. So you'll never be short of a drink, you'll never be short of a warm welcome. We have some of the best drinks in the world. I mean, you're gonna taste the freshest Guinness you'll ever drink in your entire life here in Ireland. And I know we're kind of known all over the world for being fond of drink, and a lot of us appear to be alcoholics, but that's actually not the case. We're not all alcoholics, even though we've exported some of the best alcoholics and adopted a few as well. We're not all really big into drinking. Drinking in Ireland for a lot of people is more of a social thing, it's kind of something you do at the, at the weekend, everyone goes out, a lot of people go out, they gather around the pub, have a few pints, talk shite, have a laugh, and just and that's just kind of how it is. For a lot of people in Ireland, it is a social thing. There are some people that just drink day in, day out, and that's entirely their choice, but that's not how the Irish people are. I know we're kind of conceived that way, but yeah. Little side note, I went to Germany a few years ago and I've never seen a country drink as much as the Germans do. No offense, Germany, but like you would put Ireland to shame. <laughs> so yeah, if you fancy a pint, stop off of Ireland. So number two, the second worst thing about living in Ireland, for me personally, is the healthcare system. So for the likes of medications and things like that, Ireland is actually fairly reasonably priced compared to other countries. And this might seem like a positive thing, and I guess it kind of is in a way, but as I'm making this video, Ireland is facing one of the worst healthcare disasters in its entire history. Just last month, there was over 600 people waiting for hospital beds in Ireland. That's 600 people that need help that need treatment and it wasn't there it wasn't available for them why is this why why is it like this like it shouldn't be this way there's 600 people that need help and their government is just failing them like i don't understand this how can it be this way like something has to be going on <laughs> you know what i mean there has to be something going on i just don't understand how, how how the infrastructure isn't there like ireland is a wealthy country we've like the 14th best economy in europe but yet our hospitals are dog shit. like it's it blows my mind and it saddens me to think that there are literally people dying in hospital corridors just waiting there to die because they know they're not going to get help. I see people getting appointment letters for chemo or for treatment for cancer or for things like that and they're not going to get treated for two or three years because the hospitals are so backed up. It's absolutely disgusting to think about that people are being treated that way and I really really hope that I never have to deal with that kind of stuff. I really do. Okay, so number two 
The second best thing about living in Ireland is the culture. We have a wide range of things here, from our music, our storytelling, our history. Now, tales of Ireland have spread far and wide across the globe, and people come here to drool over our castles, you know, and to learn about our history and, and literally walk through it. When I hear about other countries talking about their history, let's take America for example. America is a beautiful country, it has really, really cool history, but it's a very young country in comparison to Ireland. Like, we have structures here that were built before the pyramids. I know a shed down the road that's older than America. We have a lot of culture here, we have a lot of history, you know, we have so much here. And people come here to learn about that. And I think that's amazing. People are just drawn by it. You know, they want to hear about the folklore, they want to hear about the fairies and the leprechauns and the, the goblins and the ghouls, you know, the children of Lear and Cú Cullen and all these things, you know. We have so much history and so much tradition and so much culture here. And it blows my mind to think that people come from all over the world just so that they can sit in a pub and hear a story read by an Irish person or hear a tune that will you know send them off <laughs> you know it, it just blows my mind it really really does and I, I think it's something to be proud of that people come here from everywhere just to see what we're like just to learn a little bit about us amazing honestly it's amazing okay so number one worst thing about living in Ireland at the minute is the housing crisis yeah. So the level of homelessness in Ireland has exploded over the past few years. Most recent figures from a few days ago is that over 10,500 people are homeless and live in emergency accommodation across Ireland. I mean, 10,500 people, that's like, that could almost fill a stadium. Like, I know a small stadium, but that, like, 10,500 people, that's an insane amount of people to have out of work, out of homes, and just living on the streets, living in emergency accommodation. And the thing about this, it seems like there's nothing being done about it. Like, our government is is laughable it genuinely is like it don't even get me started on it <laughs> like they, they could be number one they could have their own video in general but i don't get involved in politics i don't vote i never will don't want any part of a corrupt system and that's truly what i believe it is that all kind of feeds back into why people are homeless why people are dying in hospital beds you know it's just insane like there are ghost housing estates scattered all over the country just empty houses not being used and they're not being given to these people like i don't understand that what is going on it, it genuinely makes me mad to think that there are people on the streets up in dublin starving freezing with the cold while the politicians are like happy and warm at home they know they can do something about it but yet they don't there's something going on that isn't being spoken about and I think it's absolutely disgusting that people are being treated that way by their own government. It has to change soon. It has to. There's no doubt about it. Ireland cannot continue like this. It re genuinely is embarrassing. People shouldn't be treated this way. And breathe. <laughs> okay, so my number one thing about living in Ireland, the best thing about living in Ireland is that you live in Ireland. And I know I know, it might seem like an easy way out, but just think of it. We have an absolutely beautiful country, we have lovely people, for the most part. We have amazing culture, we have amazing history. We do have our bad points, people dying in hospitals, we have, we have the homelessness crisis, we have awful public transport, the weather is absolutely terrible. But it is what it is. It's Ireland. It's my home, and I love it. If you drive, you can go wherever you want, within a few hours you can go from the bottom of the country right up to the top in one day. You have the nicest and freshest Guinness and whiskey you'll ever taste. You have amazing food and we have plenty of crack. And I think that's the important thing about living in Ireland is that sometimes you just have to say, well, it is what it is. This is the hand we've been dealt and let's just get on with it. And I, and I could have easily like sugarcoated this entire thing and said, no, there's no bad things about living in Ireland. But the truth is there is. Yeah, we have a lot of issues, we have a lot of problems, but what country doesn't? I think the important thing is that we're aware of our mistakes and we will try to fix them eventually, at least, I hope. Yeah, but of all the places in the world, you could do far, far worse than Ireland. And that's it for my top 5 pros, my top 5 cons. Not 100% sure if you enjoyed them, but they were my honest opinions of what it's like to live in Ireland. And maybe you'll agree with some, maybe you'll disagree with some. If you do, let me know in the comments down below, I would love to hear your opinion. And that's it for me for today, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel and you like my content, don't forget to subscribe down below, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know where you're from, let me know how I'm doing, any feedback at all, I would really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you all again next Friday with another video. Goodbye.